to edit the branding on your Techmatics student app. So this is the app that your students will access to view your courses, your training, your products and everything else. So I am just about to update mine. I've just had a little rebrand and I am needing to go in and get this sorted. To find your app for doing your customization, you're going to click on courses and memberships, go up to this main courses button at the top and then scroll down to settings. And you'll see here you've got app settings. Click on that. Now, first of all, you have to enable PWA for your app to work. PWA basically is the way that this app functions and um, turning that on is what will then enable your students to click into your school for the first time from a mobile device and they will be given a pop up to say, would you like to download this person's app? OK, so then they can choose yes or no. Um, but what we're going to do here is I'm going to change this down to Sarah Corden is you uh, name it to whatever you want to name it to give it a short name here are all your icons and here's your, like, your color code so I'm actually going to switch my color code up and press save now the other place to edit the visuals the aesthetics of your course area is in each course itself so you can actually change the course dashboard to um look different based on each individual course. So if when you're logging into your app, you're seeing you know banners or logos in there that you don't like, you do have to go into each individual course. So for instance, I've got one here. This isn't open yet. I click on the course, you're gonna press customize. This is where you can um, choose which theme that you want it to be. Um, but basically this is now where you can go in, which one do I normally pick? I think I normally just pick this one. I'm gonna press customize. Um, and you can basically choose the layout of what this whole like product will look like and what the lesson itself will look like. So if I click on theme settings over here, we can change backgrounds, we can uh, change all of the fonts, we can go to the sections, that's these bits here, so each of these areas are sections. If I click on the header section, that's this bit here, see it's got that big ugly yellow background in it at the moment, that's just default. So if you wanted to change that to something else, um, you could click here and then choose the background or the color background that you'd like to have. So for instance, if I was just to switch this purely to like a hex code of one of my colors that's not the hex code I'm just showing you an example here that didn't select did it do, do, do. okay oh, why didn't that work so it basically hadn't pressed preview you've got to press the preview to see the changes before you update them all but the last place you're going to change your branding in your school is on what's called site details so again this is inside courses and membership inside your courses settings site details and this here is where you're going to change it. So I'm not calling mine the Entrepreneur Academy anymore. It's the Legends Lab. Um, and what am I going to change on here? My logo. So I've got a new logo now. So let's go in and then change this one. I might need to edit the sizes, so bear with me. Alrighty, that one's uploaded okay. Um, but now we need to, very specifically for our favicon, need to make sure that we get these dimensions correct. Otherwise, you're going to have some weird skewing of your image. Your favicon, basically, these little icons that are right at the top hand corners over here. So um, people, when they're on a tab on your courses, you know, they can see your icon really well. So I always do this inside Canva and we need 32 by 32. I'm assuming that's pixels. So let's go into Canva over here, click on customize a design, create a design, custom size, and that was 32 by 32. Ah, it's not gonna let us do that. That's strange. Dimensions must be at least 40. All right, well, let's do 40 then. Let's do 40 by 40. Create new design. And then it's just going to be a case of pulling in my branding, my logos. And I'm going to go for a pink one, actually. So let's make this way bigger. Oh, it already is. I'm going to go for my little pink one. It's going to be my little favicon from now on. Let's get this one looking good. All right, you want to go right to the edges because that's going to be the full size. And from there, I'm also going to remove the background on this, but we can do this in, I'm just going to put this favicon pink, give it everything a title. Okay, we're going to press save and download as a PNG with a transparent background, download important because otherwise you're going to have the white square around the outside of it which as you can see from the picture of me on that one doesn't look that great 
So I'm going to go back to my Tagmatics now, select image, upload a new file, grab that little pink one there, and upload. Now it will look blurry in this preview because it's going to be a teeny tiny weeny favicon. So that was really stretched out. And there we go. We are happy. We press save. Um, by the way, just FYI, this is also the area where um, you can give people the option to download your videos or not. If that's blue, it means it's turned on, which means people can download your video content. Um, my set to off. There we go. That has now updated my course branding. Um, just so just as a refresh of where you're all going to do this and all the different places you're going to do this for your courses. Um, it will be inside the product itself in customize. It will also be in the settings area under your app settings and your site details. If you need any help, the bottom right hand corner of your Techmatics account when you're logged in is the live chat box. Always hit there first to chat with one of our tech experts live 24 hours a day. They'll be able to help you out. Happy teching.